Right, in this video, we're going to look at how to set up your account, uh, fill in your balance sheet, and talk about the income sources tab and what it means. So when you first open the software, after you installed it, you'll have a note here that says, please add or choose an account. So your navigation button's up here at the top. Go to account, add. It's going to give you a description of what information goes in there and how it's used in some more detail. You can read that for educational purposes if you'd like to, just the first time that you get started. Go ahead and close that after you've read it and you're going to come to Nesteg Software New Account. You need to put in the account owner's name. If you're using the consumer version, this would just be your name. So first name, put in my name, Mark. And you can put in your year of birth. Now it has an account owner's spouse's name. You can put that in as well, as long as, along with, excuse me, your address, city, information. Um, all that's there for informational purposes. The only thing you need to do to actually create the account is the first and last name. The rest of it is there for, for meeting purposes only. And then this section down here for the financial advisors and the consumer as well is you have uh, meeting dates area. You can create meeting dates and notes to discuss the, if you're a financial advisor, things you've discussed with your client, for example. So let's just go ahead and save that. Go ahead and close the window. Now you can see here we have my account is under my name. And again, for the consumer version, you're allowed to have one account and as many scenarios as you want. For the financial advisor version, you can have as many accounts as you want and as many scenarios as you want. So if you're a financial advisor with a hundred or two hundred different clients, you can put them all into the same piece of software here and it'll list them alphabetically. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create a scenario. What a scenario is, it's a financial scenario that you can use to um, talk, look at different options for your retirement. One that's maybe very conservative, one that's risky, one that includes Social Security, one that includes selling a home. You know, there's an infinite number of scenarios that you could, could have and it's a nice way to use the software to compare those different assumptions and what the, re, you know, the results look like with those assumptions. So we need to create a scenario because we haven't done one yet. You put add. We'll just call this scenario one. You can put any comments or notes you want here and go ahead and hit save. Now your account is created and your scenario is created. Um, that's basically it to setting up the account. Uh, like I said, if you're doing the financial advisor version, you have multiple accounts. In the consumer version, you only have one. The next thing we look at is the balance sheet. It's where you're going to put all of your retirement assets. Um, your 401k, your CDs, the money basically that you've saved for retirement. There's two sections. One's called the savings and investment accounts and the other is other income sources. This top section is usually things like CDs, 401ks, um, stock that you've saved for retirement and the other income sources is normally things like pension plans or Social Security. You can also see that as you're learning the software we have pop-up windows in lots of places to help give you tips to help fill out the information. Um, you can turn those off at any time by right clicking and uh, I'll show this in more detail later but there's a titles on and titles off that you can go ahead and select but for now we're still learning. So to put in the first asset you can either click on the th on the column we'll put in 401k Oops. Uh, the owner is going to be me. If I had put some spouse information there, it would have a drop down and a joint that we could use. And again, that's kind of for informational purposes. And then whatever the value is for that specific 401k. Uh, to create a new record, you either double click, create a new one, or you can right click and put add cash investment record. Either one of them will add an actual record. Same thing down here with the other income sources is you double click to add something or right click either either choice will allow you to add a record and then simply fill in the description of it who the owner is and what the actual value is. Okay to speed things up I've uh, added some additional information uh, into the savings here for Elmer Fudd who's our demo and Elmer and Edith Social Security along with their pension plan. Uh, 
in the re you can have multiple review dates by simply right clicking and put add review date select the date and then you can put in different values you can have an unlimited number of review dates so you can see how your assets have performed over time only the numbers though in the last right hand column are the ones used in the basket and dashboard illustrations that we'll talk about later um, under the other income sources uh, one of the things that you can do if it's something like social security or a pension that's for a lifetime for the ending year you can just put 2100 in and that will make the math work correctly and then you can look at inflation rate and the annual amounts. It's pretty straightforward. It takes you about 15 minutes to get the balance sheet set up. But once you do that, that's where um, all of the data is generated to, to make the basket and the dashboard illustrations. Let me go ahead and delete this review date. And again, you can right click to show you a lot of the different functions of what you want to do, titles on. Um, what that actually does is it's using Excel terminology. If you turn the titles on, and you have many many review dates here as you scroll right to left it'll lock the description and the owner in place so you can you know, can see those columns go ahead and turn those back off okay that's pretty much it for the balance sheet you're basically taking all your savings and you're putting them in um, the various categories giving them a name and then putting the actual values for the current date in there of what those assets are worth you'll see right here uh, at the top is the total amount it's added all of these assets up for you and that total amount is transferred over to the basket and dashboard illustration um, the income sources is just a visual representation of the data that you just put into the balance sheet uh, one of the mistakes a lot of people run into is they're trying to change data sometimes which you cannot do on this um, sheet this is here for informational purposes only so that pretty much covers it, your account, your balance sheet, and your income sources. Again, under the account tab, you can add an account, edit it, copy or delete it uh, in the financial advisor version. Again, in the consumer version, you can only edit once you've created the new account. And then under the scenario tab, you can add, edit, copy or delete for either version of the software, and you can have as many scenarios as you would like. Uh, the balance sheet, again, is where you put all your data in. Everything else is driven in Nestor software. All the calculations and numbers are driven from the data in this balance sheet. And again, the income sources tab is just a graphical or visual representation of the information that you just put in. Hopefully that's helpful on accounts, balance sheets, and income sources.